here's how I made this pleated skirt from a photo I saw on Pinterest. The pleats on the skirt started about halfway down, so I started by making a pattern for the upper part of the skirt. So this pattern I made from an A-line skirt that I already had in my wardrobe and just cut it about 7 inches down. I wanted my whole skirt to be about 14 inches long, so I made the top and the bottom part about 7 inches. The pattern piece I'm working on here is the back of the skirt. So I've got two darts. These will help the skirt lie flat and be tight in the waist. I ended up cutting this pattern piece in half so I could add a zipper down the back of my skirt. Then it was time to cut everything out. I used an online pleated skirt calculator to figure out how wide I needed my fabric to be for the pleated section. Since these pleats start halfway down the skirt, instead of using my waist measurements to calculate the pleats, I used my hip measurement. Here I'm just marking out the sections I need to cut. I divided my pleated section into two because my fabric wasn't quite long enough for the full width I needed. And then I just cut out two very large rectangles. One for the front of the skirt and one for the back of the skirt. Here I also cut out the front and back pieces for the upper part of my skirt. I cut this back piece out in two pieces because I wanted to add the zipper to the back and just added a little bit of seam allowance in that middle seam. And then I sewed in my darts to that back piece of the skirt. I sewed together the sides of the upper part of that skirt and then sewed in my invisible zipper. Now it was time for my pleats. And before I started ironing, I made notches every half inch in chalk so I knew where to fold my pleats to. I'd fold my pleats so the notches would be touching, then I'd pin them and iron them. And then I repeated this like 50 times to do all my pleats. For pleats, I like to use the steam function of my iron just to get them nice and crisp. I also sewed the two sections of my pleated skirt together before I started this, so it would be like making one very long row of pleats. Once the pleats were done, I sewed the edges of that pleated section together so it would form the circle shape. Now that I had an upper and lower part to my skirt, I sewed them together and then finished the edges with my serger. I also hemmed the bottom of my skirt and to finish the edges I just used some seam binding here. I also cut a waistband out of my fabric, which I sewed to the top edge of my skirt, used an edge stitch to keep it tidy, and then tacked it onto the inside of the skirt by hand stitching it onto those inner seams. I lined up the edges of my waistband with the edges of my zipper so the skirt can still open. And lastly, I had to make and attach the bow to my skirt. I cut out and made essentially a very long bias tape from my fabric. I started with the piece that goes all the way around where the top part of the skirt attaches with the pleats and just top stitch it on at the top and bottom edge. I made my bow separately and used my bias tape and just sewed one line of stitching across it. 
tied it into a bow and then tacked it on to my skirt with a hand stitch. And that's the end of my very quick tutorial on how I made this skirt. Thanks for watching. Thank you.